I have a lot of problems. Oh! Oh! Going through some things. I'm hurt. Am I dying? Can you tell me that? I can't tell you. You can't tell me? No. No, you can't tell me if you can't tell me. No. I'm lonely. Yes. And? I'm afraid I'm going to die. Anything else? I don't know what's wrong with me. And I want to do something important while I'm still well, here. That would be the time to do it, yes. A synecdoche is a figure of speech. Um, it's when you um, um, use the part of something to describe the whole of it, or the whole of something to describe a part of it, or the specific for the general, the general for the specific, that sort of thing. I mean, calling your your car your wheels is an example of a synecdoche. He, when he, you know, when Caden's sitting there with his therapist, he's like, I want to do something. I mean, I know he uses other words to describe it, but I want to do something in the nature of doing something. I want to live, you know, I want to actually make an impact I want to and there's many reasons why you want to do that you know some of them might be quite self-centered and some of them might have to do with heartbreak and the loss of family and wanting people back and wanting someone to respect you and there's so many different in Charlie we bring up all those things we talk about all those things and so the theater was really the place where he could put it no it was originally um, uh, Spike Jones was going to be the director and then by the time I finished it um, Spike had sort of started pre-production on another movie, and um, I, I just didn't want to wait five years, and I asked him if he would mind if I did it. It was something that I'd wanted to do at some point, not for this movie necessarily, but I thought that I could, I thought that I, I thought this was a complicated movie, then I understood it probably better than anyone else would. Charlie mentioned a few times to me, which is really helpful, the maintenance of life, you know, that you get up, and you go through your life, and this is the maintenance of it, and, <clears throat> and I think when you're younger, you either kind of maintain or you blow it off, and who really cares, you know? Uh, at least I remember that for myself, you know, when I was like in college, you know, the room could turn into a hamster trail or whatever, and it didn't really matter, you know, m maintenance, whatever. Uh, but you get older, and maintenance starts to mean something, the maintaining of your life because of your health, because of other people in your life. And then it starts to be, you start to become aware of it, and, and it becomes harder. I mean, at least for me, you know, you start to go well, <sighs> to the point where you're kind of sitting there sometimes, you're like, do I have to go to the bathroom? <laughs> you, and I know that sounds really silly, but you're like, maybe I can just hold off a little bit longer. Just, <laughs> just sit here, you know, and, uh, but, I, but I mean that, you know, I mean, and that's just a small kind of funny scale, but I do think that it, it, it's all this stuff is hard for him and he, he wants to know why it's hard. and. <laughs> You know, falling in love and meeting somebody and relationships working. Well, what it means to me is is irrelevant because I I you know when I write this stuff and then you know made the movie it was for you it wasn't for me and so no seriously it's like the in, your interaction with the movie is really all that matters and 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 you know some things will resonate maybe with you and some things won't but that's going to be different for different people and it, and that that's exciting to me so um, so I thank you.